Hi, I'm Chris Lofthouse, and today we're going to look at a data architecture within a ClickSense implementation. So some recommended reading would be to look at ClickSense's architectural overview white paper. So this is a bit of a bolt on, but it goes more into how the data binds together and how we're actually extracting that data and implementing it within a, an actual solution. So what we have here is a diagram of a single node environment. I want to draw your attention to the bottom right hand corner. In the bottom right corner, we've got a QVD section and it's split into dev and prod. Now, the QVD area, stand, or should I say, QVD stands for click view documents. They're essentially documents where we've extracted data from our source and then we've put it into a file which is optimized to be used by click. Now, a few benefits of a QVD there is that it provides optimized reloads. It also reduces the need to query a database multiple times as you can reuse QVDs for multiple apps. Also, it acts as a safety net because it, if your data source becomes unavailable, the production apps will still be able to reload over the QVDs themselves. These are just a few of the benefits of a QVD layer. So now let's walk through the diagram. So as you can see on my screen, on the left hand side, we've got the diagram of the data architecture. And on the right, let's navigate to the hub. So we'll be accessing ClickSense through the hub. And this is just one of two different ways of accessing the hub and get into our applications. So from within the hub, we're greeted with the streams on the left-hand side. That's this area within our diagram. And also we've got our apps. So from within the data connections app, we're gonna look at creating a data connection to one of our QVD um, environments. So once we've clicked our app, we're greeted with the app overview. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to navigate to the data load editor. From within here, we can create our data connections. So what you'll see on the right hand side is a list of all my possible data connections that I've already created. And what you'll see down here is a development QVD store. Now what we're gonna do now is just create a production QVD store, which will be linking to this area here within our diagram. This development QVD store is linking to this area on our server. So let's create a connection to our production QVD store. So first thing I'm gonna create new, I'm gonna select folder. So this isn't a, a database of any kind. This is simply, we've extracted the data, we've processed it, and we've dumped it into a folder on our server, which uh, will be outputted as a QVD file. So from within, within here, I'm gonna select my drive, and I'm gonna select my root folder. And within here, we'll have a QVD folder, which will have our production and development environments. So I'm gonna select production, because this, this will contain all my production QVDs, and I'm simply gonna name this Production QVD Store. And this will then point to the path on the server where all of our production QVDs lie. So I'm gonna click Create. Now what you'll notice is, this is then suffixed with my um, domain name and the username. Now, because this is gonna be a production-wide data connection, I actually wanna remove that so other users know that they can use that too, and it's not a personal data connection. So what we'll have to do there is then navigate to the QMC, go to our data connections, and then find a data connection that we just created. So now that I've found my production QVD store, you can see that it's suffixed still with my user credentials, I'm just gonna remove that and then click apply. Now when I navigate back to the hub, I can refresh the page and that will then remove the suffix um, to the data connection. So now if we go back to the hub, we can actually go to the data connection that we've just created and it should have lost the credentials that were originally there when we created it. So to conclude, what we've done there is we've created our paths to our QVD layer and you can also create data connections to your other source data, which is then used to read in the data into our applications, which are categorized into our streams and accessed via the hub. So in a nutshell, that's a very simple yet effective data architecture for a single node implementation. Please feel free to check out our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter channels. And if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch.